So um, this is the first space, mm -hmm. and uh, actually today it's different uh, than the regular day in a way, <laughs> because we have uh, we have a talk later, and we we also have the uh, uh, university students to have a workshop uh, within the exhibition, and th this is meant to be like this. The so first room is a little bit messy in a way. It's always difficult to uh, describe uh, like what, what I do in a way. Uh, maybe I'm an architect in a way, because I'm not creating architecture, but I'm creating the architecture of the uh, situation, or architecture of the meeting uh, of the people, or architecture of the uh, installation, something like that. So something in between designer, architect, filmmaker, artist, in a way. Hi, Christian. I'm Uhi. I'm looking forward to seeing you in coming March. Dear Uhi, I hope this will be a great thank you very much for your letter. I feel honored to learn about you and your family's extraordinary There is a two protagonists uh, in the film. Uh, one is Uhi. Uh, she's the uh, Korean resident in Japan. And uh, the other protagonist is uh, Christian. Uh, he is a Swiss. But uh, he has uh, Japanese-American roots. My grandparents decided to marry as families were not Kyoko separated. My aunt was born in 1937 in Korea and came to Japan in the very first of the 1940s. Uh, main focus is not the Christian side of like a Japanese American, but the uh, uh, Uhi side, the Korean resident in Japan. But don't worry, their stories are hard to imagine for me as well. Sincerely, Uhi. One of the reasons why I put uh, them to meet is somehow I thought that uh, these different uh, like uh, generations or uh, 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 circumstances could somehow connect or uh, to meet together to go through uh, even with a different history uh, can somehow come together yeah. uh, in the project. So how did you feel after listening to the Nishizaki's story? So they, they, um, they met in Tokyo yes. and they went through uh, different sites. Uh, one is the uh, a uh, place where the Korean massacre happened after the uh, Great Kanto earthquake in 1923. And they also went to the place where the hate speech happened, which is uh, not in Tokyo, but next to Tokyo, it's called Kawasaki. Uh, so that, that's the uh, whole documentation of uh, places they went through. And uh, I created an installation uh, about these uh, different elements. Actually, recently, uh, working more and more uh, video and film, and uh, but this time I try to somehow uh, make the like a cinematic experience within the show. So it's a spatial installation. Uh, so it's different than the, you are sitting on a couch and watching the film, or you went to the movie theater. Uh, so you are somehow uh, experiencing the uh, different element of the films uh, within the space. Of course, it could be quite tricky to uh, focusing on this problem uh, because it's far away from Switzerland. 
but uh, uh, I also realized that uh, 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 Switzerland also had similar, maybe a, a different form or a different way, but the similar problem of the xenophobia uh, or racism. So, uh, and uh, uh, we could say it's everywhere in a way, like in the US or uh, yeah, everywhere, like a, other Asian countries or uh, South America or. So um, I thought that they could be somehow, although it's a, a quite, uh, uh, um, let's say, quite domestic problem, but it could have some universal uh, element of it. So that, that, that's one of the reasons why, or one of the reasons I, I challenge about this uh, topic for the Migros Museum.